5,000 people arrived in UK by crossing channel in small boats this year. Home office data shows 349 people attempted journey on Saturday. 105 boats have been detected since January, averaging over 47 people each. Sunak's government pledged to stop the boats and send arrivals to Rwanda. Approach faced resistance in and outside parliament. House of Lords repeatedly stymied proposed legislation. Measures will be considered after Easter recess on the 15th of April. A new law in California raises fast food workers' minimum wage to $20 per hour. Democrats passed a law to support adults who provide for families. Fast food franchise owners support the law but are facing challenges. Alex Johnson, who owns multiple restaurants, is struggling with slower sales. Raising wages costs Johnson $470,000 yearly, leading to price increases. Many cities in California already have minimum wages higher than $16 per hour. The law represents a compromise between the fast food industry and labor unions. It applies to chain restaurants with limited or no table service. The International Air Transport Association released 2023's safety report. No fatal commercial jet accidents occurred. There was only one deadly crash involving an ATR turboprop in Nepal. Last year was the second safest on record. The past decades saw multiple disasters annually. In 1985, 27 major accidents killed nearly 2,500. 1974 witnessed 10 disasters, including the Turkish Airlines catastrophe. Better technologies, training and regulation led to safer flying. Luck also played a role. 2023 nearly had a perfect safety record. Lena Forsen, a Swedish model, is famously featured in a cropped Playboy centerfold image. The digitization of the photo marked the beginning of its widespread use. The image became a standard reference for testing image processing algorithms. The IEEE now prohibits its use, respecting Forson's wishes and promoting diversity. Nature Journal also banned it, aiming to promote women in science. The photo's durability is attributed to factors such as its dynamic range. Its popularity was due to its attractiveness, acknowledged by IEEE. Initially, Playboy considered legal action but later embraced its popularity. Kia is recalling 427,000 plus Telluride SUVs due to a defect. The drive shaft may not engage fully. This can lead to unintended vehicle movement while parked. Kia America decided to recall affected models with no reported injuries or crashes. Improper assembly is suspected as the cause of the defect. Dealers will update software and replace shafts for free. Owners will be reimbursed for repair expenses. Drivers should engage the emergency brake manually as a precaution. Pope Francis called for a ceasefire in Gaza 
and the release of Israeli hostages. He presided over Mass in St. Peter's Square and delivered the Easter message. Despite facing health issues, Francis 87 appeared in good spirits. Easter marks the celebration of Jesus' resurrection. After the service, Francis greeted crowds in his Popemobile. He deplored the suffering caused by wars and questioned their necessity. Additionally, he addressed various global conflicts and called for peace. Roger Daltrey reflects on turning 80, acknowledging his mortality. He plans to slow down after his final year as curator of the Teenage Cancer Trust shows. Daltrey expresses a desire to work behind the scenes and engage with government. Admitting nerves before recent shows, he finds performing challenging. He announced a new semi-acoustic solo tour in North America. Regarding The Who's future, Daltrey expressed contentment with that chapter being over. Paul McCartney and Niall Rogers thanked Daltrey for his work with the organization. If you've enjoyed this video, please press the like button or subscribe. That would really help the channel. Thank you very much.